What's going on, YouTube? Um, today I'm gonna talk about the uh, Reese Revolution hitch and pin box. Um, this video is gonna be about um, the pin box uh, making noise uh, and how to maintenance it. Um, I was having the issue where I was driving and I was getting a lot of um, noise from the from the pin box um, from the bearings um, I didn't know that with this particular pin box you have to grease the plates and you have to grease the bearings right up here maintenance very very easy uh, after extensive research and uh, and talking to people and with my local dealer um, I found out exactly how to do it very simple um, and uh, very inexpensive. So this pin box is designed for short beds and lightweight campers. Uh, more than likely, if you have this pin box, um, you're towing with a short bed truck or um, or an ultra light camper. Um, it's designed to pivot up top by the uh, pin box um, and not down here by the by the fifth wheel you can uh, put the pins the the screws the bolts and screws back in and have it pivot down here uh, I chose to keep this configuration uh, just to have a little bit more turning radius um, but a good way to tell to see if you um, if you need services is by pushing the uh, the pin box itself if it does not move um, freely, then uh, then you have to grease the, the plate and the bearings. Um, right now, if you look, as you can see, it's not going anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, apply more pressure. Maybe have to bang with a rubber hammer, and then uh, I'll show you what we do next. WD-40 protective white lithium grease make sure you shake this well I'm gonna apply this within all the um, surfaces needed between the plates and within the bearings openings you want to go ahead and try to move it a little bit so you can apply more crease
So the more grease you apply, the looser will be getting. And the better it's gonna work. back and forth a couple of times so you can lube the whole pin box. And that's how you maintain your Reese Revolution pin box. Thanks for watching.